So I've already taken apart my Atari Lynx, and I'm going to add a USB power adapter to it so that I can power it without having to use the original power stuff. The advantage of this is it's easier. You can use various USB attachments for it. As long as you're 5 volts, you're fine. Another advantage is you don't have to take the links all the way apart. You have to deal with ribbon cables. So what you do is you attach the USB 5 volt plus, the red wire, onto capacitor 41 on the positive side, and the bottom there you attach the ground wire. Now on a USB, you can see that they're, they're red should be power and black should be ground, but you should check the pins just to make sure. So what I'm planning to do is route this USB cable through the battery pack, through the battery hole, and route it up and around, and then of course attach the red to the top and the black to the bottom. So here I'll be doing the soldering. See, I've already kind of routed this wire, although you can see what I want to do is tie the wire around this post for strength so it can't get yanked out and cause any damage. It's pretty strong tied on there. It's a pretty thick cable, and I don't seem to be able to shift it. It is just barely long enough to reach. I kind of wish I'd left a little slack, actually. But this should be fine. So here I am getting ready to solder it. I'm I'll be soldering on the, the bottom black wire first. So the, remember, the ground goes to the negative terminal of the, of the C41 capacitor, and that's the bottom one. The top one's the red one. You can turn it over and look, but then you have to undo the uh, connector, and that's kind of a pain. Und undo the ribbon connectors, which are a real hassle to get back on. Eh, not my best soldering job, but <coughs> it'll do the trick. And now we'll solder on the... Uh, power wire on the top side. A little more tin on there. And that should be it. You can't get a much simpler mod than that. And here I'll put a little electrical tape on it for superstition's sake. I mean, I'm not really worried about shorting. But it should be ready to go, so let's try putting it back together. So I'm not going to bother to show all the putting it back together. But it, it fits together rather well with that wire right through there. Luckily there's plenty of room in the links. Alright, so now I've got USB cable sticking out of the battery compartment. And I've got an extension cable for USB. So I'll put this into a USB charger. Let's try this out. I'll take a video there now. Playing just fine. Of course, the off and on switches don't work now. So if I want to turn it off, I just have to unplug it. And now it's off. Just so that you could run off one of those phone charger battery packs, here's one of those. And also interesting is you can still run off the old stuff, although you can't fit the batteries in there anymore. 